the original Masters Apprentices, Mick Bauer, Rick Morrison, Brian Vaughan, the fabulous drummer, and Gavin Webb. Please welcome them on stage. What they set up, if you remember, uh, go to the King's Head that Brian's mum used to own, and Brian as well, who was always the drum skin of the Masters Apprentices because they used to rehearse so much there and it essentially was the start of the Masters, is that right Brian? At the King's Head? Great venue and uh, great times going there to watch those guys play. So please, enjoy yourselves and listen to these talented musicians who need about 30 seconds to get ready. You've got a joke. Is it clean? <laughs> I didn't hear daisies, I'm a bit worried. Well, okay. What, what was it called? No, let, let him tell it so I'm not involved. <laughs> what would you call, that's the voice here, what would you call a pizza bay that has flat chickens? Air of the cheese street. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta set up your drums, Tom. He's a, he's a keen man on, uh, he's a keen man on Speedway as well, we. He's got a lot of talents. A chef as well, so if you're looking for a chef... No, you're retired now, Brian, are you? No, we've created um, the Lazy Kitchen Catering Company as of yesterday with my wife. The Lazy Kitchen Catering Company. Yeah, you can drive our business? Yeah, I'll Beautiful, all right. I have to do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Masters Apprentices! Thank you for supporting us over all those years, way back to the 60s. Uh, as you know, we, uh, we lost Jim last winter, and uh, we lost Steve Hopgood, I think it was nine years ago. So, the Master Apprentices, uh, uh, the life of the band was in two halves. There was the original half and the final half. Uh, the original half, is before you now, minus Jim, that had three national hits, uh, and then uh, the final half of the band uh, carried on and they had national hits. So that's pretty much the way it worked out. Um, we were asked to do this tonight, and we thought, well, what are we going to do? We have a singer. And um, I was the backup singer for Jim. Um, and there were good reasons why I was back up singing. <laughs> um, so <laughs> what are we going to do? <clears throat> so someone suggested we do <clears throat> Wars on Hands of Time. I've uh, done a slightly different arrangement, uh, one that suits my voice, uh, and it's more of a ballad. As you know, this song was written uh, as a protest uh, against the Vietnam War. Australia had found itself in yet another Civil War, another country, have we have not broke, we keep doing that. Um, and um, it hurt a lot of people, broke a lot of families, and uh, I felt uh, it was worthy of a song, as did other songwriters. So, <clears throat> hope you enjoy it. Beyond the <clears throat>
Those guys uh, came to play at the AMC concerts not all that long ago and had uh, a couple of people sitting with them and honestly it was like uh, going to a history lesson. They were absolutely sensational and uh, the, night was, the night was great and I think they might have talked a little bit about uh, you know, having some addition to the band and, and going on the road again with a manager and a bus and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> 